radar hack. I've never even heard of a radar hack. I was shooting too straight. Perma ban. Perma ban for literally no reason. Bro, call a shame, bro. Chill, bro. It's not what it looks like, I swear. I just got perma ban. Perma ban. The most popular one of them all, Call of Shame. Deplorable, horribly sexist, homophobic, like, there's no proof. There's none. What percentage of big streamers do you think do cheat? Zero. Less than, Less zero. than zero. There is nothing wrong with me cheating. Tell me one thing wrong. What is wrong with me cheating? Be completely honest. Like, if I'm hacking, you guys don't care. I just got from a ban. Bro, I just got banned. Damn. Shifty, these Warzone streamers have regarded as the best player to ever play Call of Duty, has been caught reverse boosting. The problem is, I've caught him today, reverse boosting into lobbies, so he can shoot new players by connecting with a low-level PlayStation account. These streamers are utterly useless. Watch now as he joins a PlayStation account that is hosting a game. As the PSN account searches for a match, the low-level account now leaves the game allowing Shifty to get cheap kills, while claiming false world records. They have done this so many times, this PSN account is now level 28. Here is an example from a few days ago, this level 1 account is brand new, specifically created for reverse boosting, so Shifty can get easier lobbies as he can't compete otherwise. These streamers claim to be the best in the world, I'm not even joking. Like honestly, who the fuck cares, as long as this isn't like against any sort of ruling or anything, there's no point to hide it, bro. Yes, it is against the rules. Are you kidding me? Here we go again. Any user who colludes with another user to exploit the game for the purpose of gaining XP, prestige, game score, weapon level, or in-game unlock is subject to penalty. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The rules state that a user may be permanently suspended from playing the game online. But who is this person that's boosting Shifty? Well now, that would be Jay God. All these streamers are all doing the same thing. It's embarrassing. J God is on a an account that is a new account, uh, low level or whatever, or low KD, and just queuing into a game and backing out. In that same game, he dropped 50 plus kills and claimed a world record. The streamers were all silent on this. Here they are, watching his gameplay, trying to justify him killing bots. And these streamers love it. But why are they trying to justify it? because they are all doing it. These low IQ streamers are trying to justify him killing bots. They actually think it requires a lot of skill to shoot people that don't shoot back. Oh this is my god. Beautiful ending. Wow. Look See, at this, this one really, at the map. Oh my god. You have to be really good to do stuff like this. Like, sure, it's a bot lobby. Ooh, I, 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 I'm moving. I won't. I'm telling you, it's a bot lobby. But you still have to be good to get a lot of kills in a bot lobby. Not mm -hmm. everybody can do that. Like position yourself pretty good, because even the bots, a four, full team of bots could like whoop your ass. It's a three, four teams up, 11 people left. <laughs> he oh, loves these, he loves these. He's so good at that. <laughs> we have to be careful here. Oh, this is a shooter team right here. 83. You see, you see how he didn't cross until the smoke popped? Yeah. So he doesn't get shot on the cross? Yeah, or else he could get light ping and get shot through yep. the smoke. There's a P-Strike. Here's the guy coming to the right. Oh, that's good play. Wow. It's the kill. 55. 55. Imagine back in the day, during the game battles Winter Ladder, these streamers would get ripped apart by every single team. Back in the golden era of COD 4 for example, they wouldn't stand a chance. They would be tactically torn to pieces by an average player. They had to kill bots in Warzone to stay relevant. Call of Shame are proud to partner with Total Antivirus, bringing you the best in online security. Their award-winning antivirus is trusted by millions all over the world. I personally use this software on my own PCs. It's not just a partnership, it's something I trust myself. Please check the video description for more information. Warzone is failing, and at levels never seen before, because nobody is playing it. However, the streamers actually believe they can trick everyone, by paying for bots to populate the streams. To pretend to watch them play Warzone. Around 1900 people tuned in to allegedly watch this streamer. But there is a problem. They all forgot to plug in their keyboards, as they remain silent like little mice, as the streamer plays Warzone. These streamers, in reality have between 25 to 35 genuine viewers. I have cropped the chat and player's name, to make it visible inside my template. You can see the full context, on my other channel, called More Call of Shame. 
which I upload mini sections from my videos, to allow the community to give early feedback, before making into the final production. But back to this video, as you can see, not a peep out the chat. Absolute clown behavior. Please like this video, it's a big help. And hit that subscription button, and don't forget to turn on notifications, we really appreciate it. Meanwhile, Call of Shame went live yesterday, and this is how a live chat should look, and this was just the countdown intro, I never even started the live broadcast. This example, is what is called authentic channel growth. Are you streamers paying attention? I went live for around 30 minutes, and the viewers just kept on coming, until it eventually had to end. And a special thank you to everyone that tuned in yesterday. I hope the production we created was worthy of your time. Nixta has been sitting inside bot lobbies all day, and he wants to get off. He is about to inform the simps of this news. They are absolutely devastated. Chat, if I don't if I don't drop 40 kills next game, I'm getting off, Chess. Y'all better, y'all oh, better. We need, yeah. we need this for Now, the simps will now collectively group together and use their parents' credit cards to donate to keep Nixta on stream. Yo! Let's go, baby. Talk for the five ninety five bits. I appreciate that, man. Let me get some W the chat. W. Hell yeah, man. Eight check. Holy shit. Twenty five eighty six. Yacht. From Mill Bass, from Mill Bass, first stop like gifted. Oh, actual prices versus like going to oh. the store where they could get you anything. This is the perfect example of peer pressure. Peer pressure is when you do something because you want to feel accepted and want to be valued by people around you. Oh my dude. Okay, chat, hold, hold on, guys. Hold, hold, hold the fuck on, chat. Hold on, bro. Yo, it's so, so fucking dead. Bill Bear with the fuck. A check with a dead. And A check with another four ticket today. Oh my god, is that there is no doubt they will regret this tomorrow when their parents check their bank accounts. Not Nixta, he knows exactly how to play The Sims. What's happening? He check at 2600. Bro, what is going on right now? Chase is at 430, dude. Oh my goodness, we got. The Sims continue with the gifted subs. It's one giant scam, as Nixta and his moderators keep hyping them up. What the fuck? What? What? A check with the motherfucking 80. Get it. Holy shit. A with the 35. In fact, there is a full Reddit group and web pages dedicated to this subject. It's when children offer the streamer gifted subs to do something on stream, then, if they don't pay up. The chat, now full of angry simps, attempt to defend the streamer by bullying and attacking the individual until they part with the money. These Warzone streamers are the bottom of the barrel, and their collection of simps are even worse. The way it works is, they find a streamer to latch onto, because they lack the basic skills playing Call of Duty. Instead, they find someone who drops high kill gains, and they want to become part of an online family. It's just cringe. This is even more popular among the female streamers. Well, the simps love them. And the streamers love the simps' credit cards. I exposed you last week, for cheating in Call of Duty Warzone. You boosted into games, to manipulate your viewers into sending you money for your fake gameplay. I informed Call of Duty of my findings, but they ignored me. Instead, they congratulated you, praised you, and rewarded you. This game is all about streamers. Because they promote microtransactions, it's one big scam. UAV online. Tactical nuke ready for launch. Coming! 
Well done. Pull of shame wins. Flawless victory.